What's up YouTube, it's Euphoria here with another video. T um, today we're going to be looking at creating effects using Massive. And the type of effect we're going to be creating is going to be a rising synth. So, um, I'm sure you've sort of all heard this. Uh, it's been used in many songs um, right before the drop during the build up. There's a synth that starts off on let's say C for example and just pitches up and up and up and up and up and right before the drop it stops or whatever and then the drop comes in. So we're going to look at how to do that inside Massive. So um, the first thing you want to do is create a bass sound and by bass I mean B-A-S-E um, a sound that you like and that's going to pitch up. So um, I like it to sound a bit melodical so we're not going to get look too in depth with that today. Um, so I like the drive sound. So the idea is over um, about eight bars, um, the sound will pitch up about one octave. Um, you can make it more. Now, a lot of people use um, these envelopes to do that, and they put the envelope on the pitch and they make it rise up. But I just found that that you don't have as much control with that. Um, so we're going to use an automation method and automate the pitch instead of linking it up to one of these envelopes. So we're going to start with a sound like this. Very simple, okay, we'll add some reverb to it. Maybe give it some chorus. Okay, that's good enough really, we're not, we're not looking going to worry too much about this. Um, that's good. So, pretty much this is what you do. So, you want to go over um, 8 bars. Um, to do that, I'm pressing Control B. If you have an area selected and you press Control B, it'll duplicate that area into the next bar. So pretty simple, build up, nothing too special. That pattern is so overused, um, but we can use it for this for this tutorial. Okay, so we'll put down our pattern like so. Um, so we can have it pitch over these bars. Now, I said I'm going to automate this, and so now how am I going to do that? Well, we're not going to actually use Massive at all, we're going to use FL Studio's automation. Now, um, a lot of people don't actually really understand how precise you can be with FL Studio's automation. So what we're going to do is we're going to mess around with the pitch a little bit, so that our last tweak parameters is the oscillator one pitch inside Massive. We're going to create automation clip. Now, this happens. You can automate it like this. Now, let's say we want to go up exactly one octave. Now, a lot of people think that that's impossible. It's really not, okay? Now, I only discovered this trick a couple of weeks ago. I'm sure a lot of people know about it, but a lot of people won't. All that you do is you set the pitch to what you want. We want it to go up one octave. So that's 12 semitones, like that. When it's on 12, exactly on 12, you go tools, last tweak, copy value. So now it's copied the percentage of that octave into its memory, So which label enables you to right click on point 0.2 and say paste value. And it's going to automatically set it up to one octave. So let's see. Let's see if it works precisely how we want it. Exactly one octave up. Now, that's good automation for one one oscillator. If you want to use two oscillators and you want it to pitch up one octave, you do the exact same thing. Oscillator two, 
let's make it a poly saw. Let's just see what that sounds like. And a little bit too chorusy. We'll bring that down a bit. Okay, it's still too chorusy, but it's okay. Just for demonstration purposes. Now for this, you just have to edit it a little bit. Go tools, last tweaked, and go link to controller. Internal controller, you select pitch and accept, and you'll see now. They will pitch up exactly together. Now, a lot of people use these envelopes and they think it's better and each to their own opinion. Um, I just think you don't have as much control. So now, using this technique, you can, over a period of eight bars, you can really build up a lot of stuff. Maybe you want to put a dimension expander on it. And as, as the song progresses, the size of the dimension expander opens. We might want to put some noise in there, maybe have the color open along with it. You can really do so much using automation rather than these envelopes. Now, the LFOs are a completely different story. I think that if you want to use an LFO, it's best to just use it inside Massive. But for pitching up purposes and creating effects, this is, the I think, the best way to do it or a way to do it. Um, if you want to create cool effects with envelopes, by all means do it. But this is the w method I use. It's very precise. And also you have so much more control over it. Maybe you want it to pitch up halfway exactly that much and then you want it to start again. S that's easy to do. We know that halfway it's going to be on six. So we'll create, uh, sorry, we'll create two points there. One on six and one to go back to the beginning. Like that. We copy this value. Uh, oh shit, my bad. <laughs> copy that value. Paste it there. We know that's supposed to be on 6. That's easy to achieve. We just put this on 6 like that. Go tools, last tweaked, copy value, and paste. I just feel that you've got so much more control that way. Um, yeah, I th that, that's the way I do it anyway. So, so this has been Yafari with a quick video on how to do synth effects inside Massive. It doesn't even have to be synth effects. You can create some pretty grimy stuff inside here using the white noise, whatever. And it's always better to create your own effects. Otherwise, people know exactly where you've taken them from. A lot of people use vengeance packs. So. So yeah, that's been a quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe for more.